Hey, what's going on everybody? More Medic One. Uh, this morning I'm at one of my facilities and the complaint is on this uh, Yamaha golf cart is that the headlights aren't working. And so we're going to dig into this just a little bit. It's The repair is so super simple, but I just want to get this information out there to you guys that uh, that are afraid to dig into electrical issues. This is the most simple uh, circuitry that you can imagine. It's just a, uh, a single pull, single throw electrical toggle switch is the problem. But I'm going to show you how to diagnose that switch, how to test one really fast with your DVOM meter, and uh, we'll get it going here in just a minute. And uh, the complaint was that her um, headlights weren't working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my multimeter and I'm going to set it to... Uh, an audible continuity. Let's see if we can hear it. This meter is not very loud compared to my fluke. My fluke is very, very loud. So what we can do, I suspect that the switch is bad on her golf cart. Put your multimeter on each lead and toggle the switch. I went ahead and purchased a new one. That is our problem. What she's got, she's actually has, has a bank of two switches. One switch operates the headlights. The other switch operates the little wiggy wag orange cycling light on top of the golf cart, just a clearance light we are going to combine these into one switch. And when we get out there, I'll show you what I'm gonna do. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna piggyback this 50 amp switch with these little connectors here. And we'll be able to run one switch to turn the headlights and the wigwag light on. Alrighty guys, don't make too much fun of my test switch here. It's just a push-pull switch out of a clutch uh, for a riding mower. As you can tell, our lights are working. Our little wigwag is working. These little push-pull switches make great little test switches in case you were wondering about that kind of stuff. She can just wire it into a, your, the back of your switch there. I apologize for the lighting, but uh, it's dark today and rainy. But what we're gonna do, we're going to take our each terminal, we're just gonna push them. We're just gonna squish them down just a little bit to help grab on to our connector better. If your little spade terminals are crispy from being overheated, definitely replace them, but these are gonna be okay. Alrighty guys, let's go ahead and hook up our piggyback spade connector. Should look something about like this when you're done. 
let's just feed our switch back down to the hole and if you remember right we are going to eliminate the other toggle switch and just wire them into one heavy duty switch well i guess i should go ahead and mention the only reason i'm doing it like this is because i don't have two switches but this is just temporary until i can get me another 50 amp switch that way she can have both of them going for this evening's goings-ons good to go well i hope this little quick little tutorial helped you out and if it did give me a thumbs up and smash that like button and while you're there go ahead and give me a subscribe it would help me tremendously and uh once you hit that button that subscribe button you're gonna get three little icons that come up and it looks like a little bell ding a ling a ding ding go ahead and click all so you'll get all my new videos well we'll see you guys on the next one have a good day more medic one